Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the different ways that you can stop programs from running a startup on Windows 11. Some programs can start automatically as you start your computer and sign into your account. Although this may be convenient to access applications faster, they can also slow down the startup process, impact performance, and waste system resources as their processes run in the background. Okay, let's dive into the steps to disable apps as startup on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, we're going to look at the steps to use the settings app to manage the apps that launch a startup. And to do that, open start and look for settings. Then we need to go to apps and then we need to open the startup page. In here, you can use a sort by menu and select the startup impact option. This way, the system is going to list the apps that launch a startup, but how impactful they are to the system. There is not a specific list of apps that you should disable. Instead, you should turn off those apps that have the more impact on performance and you rarely use, and also disable as many apps as possible. For example, I use most of these applications, so I'm going to scroll down and let's say mobile devices. I don't use that, so I'm going to disable that. I'm going to disable this, this one as well, and this one. Now we're going to look at the steps to complete the same task by using the task manager. And to do that, open a start and look for task manager and open the app. Then click on startup apps. And here you can sort the apps by those that are enabled and for those that are disabled. Then select the app and click the disable button and continue to do the same for the other apps that you want to disable a startup. Windows 11 and previous versions also includes the startup folder, which is a special folder that the system will monitor every time that the computer starts. So, and to control that folder and to make sure that you don't have any applications running a startup that you don't want, you can do this. Open start and look for the run command. And then we're going to type shell column startup and then click OK. And in here, simply select the item that you want to remove from a startup and click the delete button. I actually need this running a startup on my computer, so I'm not going to delete it. But that's how you control startup programs through the startup folder on Windows 11. Finally, you can also manage apps that run a startup through the registry. But since you will be modifying the registry, it's important to know that modifying this database can cause problems. So it is important to create a backup before proceeding to start open start and look for registry. Then we're going to go to this path. And in here, you're going to see a list of the applications that run a startup. If you see an application that you want to disable, just select it, right click it and select the delete option. This is not the only location where apps can register to run a startup. We also need to go to this path. In here, select the RAM folder. And in here, you're going to see a bunch of the apps that are currently registered to load a startup. From here, you can delete each of the apps. If we go to the startup folder location, and in here, we're going to see all the items that the system recognizes from the startup folder. If there is an item that you don't want to load a startup, just right click on it and select the delete option. Now, if you can't find the item to disable from a startup using any of these options, you might need to disable the option from the actual application. Since each application is different, you might need to check the developer documentation for specific details. But let me just give you an example. If we open the Windows Terminal, and then we go to settings. And then in this case, a startup, we're going to see that we have the launch on machine startup option. And this one, you have to turn it off in this case to prevent command prompt from launching automatically on a startup. Finally, Windows 11 also includes a feature that allows the system to restart apps automatically to restore the last session to help you pick up where you left off more quickly. This is kind of different from apps running a startup 
but technically the app will run again a startup to restore the last session. Now, if this is the case, you can disable this feature by opening start and looking for settings and then we need to go to accounts and this might be different for you but in my case for some reason i think microsoft is testing out a different way to show settings on the accounts page but in my case i have to click accounts to actually access the account settings and then scroll down and then go to sign in options and then you need to turn off this option and that's it those are virtually all the different ways that you can stop apps from running on startup on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.